mind if you would swipe left on this guy. How are you feeling? You ready to meet these eight girls? There's eight of them? I'm a little nervous. What are you nervous about? The most I've ever been with is three. <laughs> okay. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> What up YouTube, what's going on guys? Before we start the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Put on the post notification because every video I'm choosing two random people who comment within the first 1,000 comments. You just said we're choosing two. You didn't say what they get. Oh, they get 50 buckaroonies. Okay, we're about to bring the girls in. How you feeling? I'm excited. You know, I've been single for a while now and I know that reality YouTube videos Too long, stolen from care. Jubilee Let's just bring are the, the way girls. to find okay. love, so. <laughs> Guy, are you guys expecting right now? Tall, muscular, Tall. Short. Short. masculine, short, energy. short, short. <laughs> yeah, short. What age range are we looking for? Forty, late twenties. Yeah, I'm not me thinking about it. I'm like, what kind of man do I want? Late twenties. Well, when, when do you guys mature? Do they ever mature? So I have your bachelor right here. He's shaking. He should be. All right, three, two, one. Ooh. Okay. That's a good reaction. Makes me feel real good. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> His voice is never that deep. He's maybe a deep for you guys right now. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hey guys, uh, this is Hunter. This is our bachelor for the day. Yeah, how you feeling right now? <laughs> yeah, overwhelmed for sure. I heard someone say my footsteps sounded 5'10". <laughs> <laughs> that, that was me. I was right. That feels like you're James Bond or something. That was very <laughs> impressive. We're just gonna do a swipe right or swipe left. So I wanna ask you guys, on the, raise your hand if you're gonna swipe left on this guy. Meaning you don't like that he's, how tall are you? 6'3". You don't like a 6'3 guy. You're not interested. You want to be out of the video. You want to get out of here. Not that it matters, but the sooner you're out, the less chance you have of going viral in one of his clips. So just keep that in mind. Don't you mean dating you? I'd rather go viral than date me. <laughs> <laughs> Raise your hand if you would swipe left on this guy. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Also, maybe say what your names are so I, you know, know. Okay. I'm Paris. I'm okay. Michelle. I'm Kieribel. I'm Bailey. Bailey. Mm -hmm. Lindsay with a Z. And Janet. Janet. Yahida. Yahida. I'm Alexis. Alexis. I'm Catherine. Catherine. All right, so we got cocktail hour. You guys have 20 <laughs> minutes to get to know our be It's just the word <laughs> Catherine. <laughs> I'm immature, sorry. <laughs> Timer starts now. Okay, so I'll start. What is a non-negotiable for you when it comes to a trait in a person that you're dating? Like a red flag? Yes. That I want or I don't want? That you don't want. Oh, We're not okay. looking for toxic. Because some red flags are great. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Just to keep the relationship a little spicy. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A red flag that I wouldn't want, someone who's selfish. I like gracious people. I like saying thank you a lot myself. Mm. So like when I notice someone doesn't say thank you to like a waiter or something, it, it hurts a little bit. I do. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah. I think it's really good that you want to be respectable to service people. That's really sweet and admirable. Unless they're slow and then it's like, hey, f*** <laughs> out of here. <laughs> What's a red flag that you do like? It depends though. Now I'm at a point in my life where I don't necessarily want like a, a short term situation as much. But back in the day, <laughs> uh, like if a girl had like, Tattoos or even face tattoos. I, I didn't mind. I was into it. Ooh, yeah. you like them right? I see a tattoo. Yes. What is the what does the tattoo say? Reina. Reina? Who's Which is Reina? queen. Oh, okay, okay. But it's my mom's name, yeah. I like that. I like that. And what are you about your tattoos? I have quite a few. I have oh. my little butterfly. Oh wow, those are really pretty. Thank you. Those are hot. How would you feel if one of us had an ex-partner tattooed on us, like their name? I dated someone who has my name tattooed right here by his crotch. I probably wouldn't f that guy, no. No, no, no. <laughs> no, but I'm saying like, I'm I'm sure like the partners kind of feel a little weird about someone else's name being on their skin, no? I don't feel insecure, because I feel like, like give me an example, what was that guy's name? Ben. Ben, like if, if you had Ben tattooed on you somewhere? Yes. I will just add a D and an over to it. Ben and, then, <laughs> and then it would be like a whole new tattoo, it'd be like fun. <laughs> You're quick. He's clever, ooh. 
Yeah, I like the wittiness. Yeah. The wittiness is admirable for sure. This is great. I'm winning. This is good. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't know who's gonna ask, but what, what's your zodiac sign? Yeah. Ooh, I was thinking that. I know that I'm the bad one. But nobody wants to be. Sagittarius. Aries. Oh God. Aries. I'm an Aries. So That's not a bad one. I'm it's an not Aries. a bad one when you're That's an Aries, Aries, but to everybody else. Aries men. <laughs> like, Aries men what? Spicy. I just have. A pass with Aries men. So do you want another pass? Might as well. Well, anybody not compatible with an Aries? Well, I'm a fire sign too, so. I don't know if that's good or bad. Fire, fire, I don't know. Fire, fire might burn the whole neighborhood down, so. Well, it, it would be fun. Yeah. <gasps> <Move>? <laughs> I okay. mean, the, the wetness is gonna make sure that they <laughs> extinguish the fire, right? <laughs> right. Okay, so just describe your dream girl. Someone who's really driven, I like that. When I talk to them, I want to be inspired too, so like they're doing their thing and it just makes me excited about doing my thing and I want to help them with whatever they've got. What about physical attributes though? Like, do you like brown hair? If um, I didn't like brunettes, today would be a big issue for me. Uh, a lot of brunettes. In terms of like hair color, I'm more of an ass guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Assets, like you have a lot assets, of assets. Assets, assets. That's what you um, mean, yeah. But yeah, that's, and I like smiles, I like pretty eyes, I like, I think the pretty, pretty normal stuff. Working out is kind of like a big part of me. So do you work out and like, would you be able to lift us? What's your bench? Can you try? Oh, yeah. Can you lift to one bench of well, everybody just, right let, now? Let's just do something fun, like pick me up, <laughs> with your shirt off. No. Yeah. <laughs> Take no. it off, take it off. Does anybody want to volunteer? Okay. Paris. Okay, you ready? Okay. Three, two, jump. Let me see. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yeah, okay. That was way more sexual than I meant for it to be. That, this felt like the beginning of an OnlyFans video. Sorry, that. Impressive. So, how do we rate that, guys? Ten well, I mean, we, never, we didn't even see the muscles, though. Yeah, like, he's we still wearing this off. baggy thing. I, okay. I kind of like him skinny a little bit. You yeah. might just blur, just just blur it in the bit. video, you know? Oh I'm gonna go hunting tonight. <laughs> Does anybody have a fun question? It's, no, it's very immature. Okay, that's it. Are you a grower, not a shower? Okay. <laughs> One second, sorry. So should we lie? Was that an inappropriate question? That was a very appropriate question. And I think very important because a lot of times, you know, sex is a very big part. Very of big. Yeah. yeah, we're sex positive. Yeah. Sex Does positive. it matter to you guys? No, it doesn't. Because it can be like scissoring if it's small. <laughs> I think I would grip a little bit more, probably. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> every, time, every time you step forward, I'm like, how is this right, video going to get us canceled <laughs> today? Are you allergic to cats? No, but you have cats? Yes. How many? Uh, I don't mind cats. I have a dog, though. There's a chance my dog would try to kill your cat. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. So, how do you feel about having sex on the first date? Yeah. And would um, you take that person serious if you did have sex on the first date? Yeah, my, my only long-term relationship, we ended up having sex on the first date. I have a question, though. Okay. So, on the first date, do you pay the bill or like yeah. do you expect to pay the bill? No, no, no. I expect the whole fake reach into the purse thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we were talking about yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm actually yeah. reaching expect that. to scratch my <gasps> ass instead or something. If you scratch your ass. And then I'm like, here, here's a card and you're not going to want to accept it because I was deep in there. So you're going to be like, don't pay, baby girl. I got it. Good strategy. <laughs> um, do you pay on a first date? I have. Really? Actually have, yeah. Raise your hand if you would not go on a second date if a guy didn't pay on the first date. You would not go on a second date. I'm sorry. I feel like if a guy is asking a girl out on a date, it's, yeah. you know, like He's it's inviting. like you're inviting someone. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. What if you ask a guy on a date? I would I pay guess. if I asked. The, the, I yeah, I guess the woman can pay because she's awesome. Should. It should be 50 50. But first date, if you're not paying, then I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. How would you feel if the girl you're getting to know is celibate until she's in a relationship? Then I'd probably ask her to be my girlfriend pretty quick. You know? <laughs> Good answer. Uh, no, I, I wouldn't mind. I, I understand that now, especially like as I've gotten older, I think that waiting is often really beneficial. If I were to ask your friends what your type is, 
what would they say? And be 100% honest. You. Really? Your friends would say that? Yeah. Specifically me or just yeah, like a white guy? specifically you. Okay. <laughs> specifically Hunter. Tall. How tall? Know? What's the minimum? Well, I'm five five. Should I should we back to back? Yeah, we can go back to let's back. Let's back You're to back. I'm in right heels now. now. Right. Okay, so let's okay. see if it's gonna work out. Okay. Right. Oh, it's it taller. Is. Wow. Okay, yeah, I'll take, take off your shoes perfect. and you'll be. Why is shorter. everyone so surprised I'm taller than five eight? <laughs> Being shorter is not a bad thing because you're closer to the ass, so you can just start eating <laughs> immediately or Very true. that's her answer that I was looking for. Okay. <laughs> I used to think I have a type, but I like short, tall. Black, white, I like anybody that I just have a connection with. Um, usually tattoos. The tattoos I don't have yet, but I think I'm getting them soon. You can soon. work on that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an that. easy fix. Um, I feel like I'm really into masculine men. I'm very, like, attracted to me. I feel like I get attracted to my person if I feel like they see me, like, as, like, their queen. Like, that, you know, makes me become very attracted yeah. to them. For me, I love uh, a family man. So I pay attention to how the person treats their parents and how close they are to their family because that's really important to me. I'm a family woman, so. Um, I love goofy looking guys. I'm not a pretty boy lover. <laughs> I, I'm not a pretty boy lover, you know? But am I, are you a I wouldn't say you're goofy, but you're cute. Um, probably like a fit build, but that doesn't, that's like my initial attraction, but they would say more so they need to be witty, they need to be driven. And he's very driven. His dad drove him here today. <laughs> That's good. Is that his dad? That's my dad, yeah, yeah, yeah. You should bring him up here. Hey, Jeff, why don't you come up here real quick? By the way, Dad, I'm sorry I'm being inappropriate meeting you for the first time ever. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is what Hunter's going to look like in a, maybe a couple years. Handsome. I mean, you're going to age pretty well. If you guys want to check out a video we did with Hunter's dad, click right here. We're doing My Dad Chooses My Date or his channel, so it's gonna be good. Check it out. Yeah. Oh, applause for my dad, huh? Wow. Dude, raise your hand if you choose him over this guy. The dad yeah. is very handsome. Hot, hot. Can we do both? <laughs> yes. Yeah, he was fun. Is he any of your usual types? Like, if you saw him walking down the street, would you go, hey? Yeah, he's a cute. Type. Honestly, no. Absolutely, if I got to know him like at a personal level, but it's a little hard right now, you know, but I don't think. I mean, as of right now, I think there's other better candidates. I'd say, like, if I didn't talk to him at all, I wouldn't rate him above an eight, but, like, now that, like, I've talked to him and, like, I've conversed with him, it's, like, that adds to it. If you're just, like, looks alone, it's, like, it's hard, it's hard to say, because it's, like, this could just be, like, not the best day. This is hard. I, I actually like him. He just seems like a really funny and sweet guy. He seems really mm -hmm. sweet. And down to earth. Yeah, Absolutely. down to earth, he's very sure. I think he um, seems like a very genuine, emotionally mature person, family person. I think he's cute. I think he's nice. Like, he'd be fun to, like, hang out with. I think he's, like, a really supportive partner. Like, when he said what he really liked or admired about a relationship is if they inspired him and then he was able to help and inspire them as well. He's family oriented. He is low key. Well spoken. He seems put together in my I need a balance in my life. I need to be the one that's but not he's put also together very so he funny. can be put together. Let you guys know who got voted out. Does anybody want to vote themselves out just because they do not want to be here? They do not want to date Hunter. Alexis. Okay, well, thanks for coming. We appreciate you. Thank you guys. You guys are gorgeous. Thank you. Good luck. The two people that got voted out, one of them was Alexis, so you guys did vote out right. And then the other person was Paris. I'm sorry. So. But you're fire as hell, baby. Yeah, you're fire as hell. If it doesn't work out, Hunter, call at us. Give us a call. How are you? I'm good. Okay, tell me how to say your name again, because it was the hardest one. It was the yeah. hardest one to it's say. It's a unique name. So it's Kiaribel. Kiaribel. Yeah. And where's that from? My mom made it up when, yeah. And now, like, 
people have named their children after me. Really? Yeah, it's so pretty There's just cool. a bunch of kitty bells running around because of you? There's about four or five. Wow. Yeah. Only the shittiest white kids in the world are named Hunter. <laughs> so it's not a good thing. So what would you like to ask me? Well, I feel like you're an open book, so maybe I branch out a little bit with these questions and we yeah, just we cut straight to the point. Let's go ahead. What do you want out of this? <laughs> so, how fast do you move in a relationship? Are you gonna move in with her within a month? Because that's the kind of girl I am. Like, let's get to the point. Am I and moving like, it with you or are you moving it with no, me? No, in general, like if you really like a girl, I kind of want the man to move in with me so I can have control so when we argue, I can kick him out. Because <laughs> my name is on the list. <laughs> but he can come back after he begs for a little bit. What's your ideal date? My ideal date? Where would you take a girl? A good, I pick him up and then I grew up all around LA, so I know a lot of good spots. So I'd want to do maybe like even like go get food here and then we go get dessert somewhere else. It'd be nice. The way to a girl's heart is definitely through food, so that's a... I'm a good cook, that so be, that... Oh, are, are you yeah, a good cook? Yeah, yeah, I do a lot Ooh, of cooking. That's perfect. So actually, maybe my ideal date would be cooking for a girl. Oh, that would be perfect. Yeah. Love well, that. If all goes well, we can cook. Yeah, yeah, you can cook for me. I would love that. That would be perfect. So I noticed, like, you're very wholesome mm. compared to other guys I've dated. So I just wanted to ask you, like, how freaky are you, you know? <laughs> That's your opener? Well, yeah, because, like, what I do for work, like, it's kind of like I need a guy who's, like, kind of open-minded, you know? And what do you do for work? I do OnlyFans. Okay. Yeah. I would say I'm probably one of the more open-minded guys. So you know, stuff. like, what the industry is like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good Big to know. Big fan of the industry. Love what you guys are doing. Oh, my God, maybe you should... You could be a fan of me. <laughs> okay, all right, I have another question then. Yeah. Do you ever f up in a relationship? <laughs> I can say that maybe I do. Well, okay, explain, it. elaborate. But I won't say, I, I don't cheat, but I will say that maybe the things that I do might look <laughs> a little weird where you're like, is she having sex with my dad? But I'm not, I'm actually <laughs> trying to engage with your dad to get to know you. I'm very shy like when it comes to like men, but the good thing about it is that you're really comfortable. Like you don't make me feel intimidated or anything like that. That's what women say, not intimidating at yeah. all. Yeah, you have comfortable energy. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna just take purely the positive aspect of that and ignore that it could also be negative. No, no, it isn't. Cause okay. yeah, girls like to be comfortable. They're compatible. I'm not compatible. We're not as wholesome. Can I ask you a question? Of course. Do you want to f my dad? <laughs> Wait, actually, you want me to be honest or do you want me to lie? I want you to- I'm not, I'm loyal. <laughs> so I'm not <laughs> your dad. No, but, but if but, I wasn't but with if you, you- But if you're more loyal, <laughs> if you want to be more loyal to my dad, I would understand. There's. He seems fun. Do you want my dad to just take my car right now and you guys go on a date instead of you finishing this? I mean, he seems fun. <laughs> Why not? All right, you, can, you guys can go. Thank you. Here, give that to him. Have fun. It was lovely Thank meeting you. you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Okay. How do I follow up with that? Don't worry. As long as you don't try to f my dad, I'm pretty sure we'll be okay. <laughs> I just want to start off with I loved like your energy up there, and like I love the fact that you were like saying like you're witty because being witty is a really big thing for me. I thought it was really attractive. Okay, good. So you seem pretty witty though yourself. I feel like wit likes wit. Yeah. Everyone likes comedy, but witty's, you know, a little bit more specific. Yeah, it's a little bit sarcastic and it's kind of like little daggers, but it's like, it's all out of love. Like, yeah. if you can't go back and forth with somebody, it's like, I feel like it'd be hard for me for someone to, to not have that. So do you like kind of going at your partner a little bit? Like, do you like nagging them when you're together? Yeah, like to a point, like if they're like, hey, like, I'm like, okay, like I get it, but <laughs> Do you like pegging them? Pegging? Um, I uh, I don't think so. Um, so like, no to the pegging? No to the pegging. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> no to the pegging. I'm sorry if you're into that. I'm, I'm kidding. That's not it me. It just sounded like um, it. Like, I said it the first time. I'm just kidding. What turns you on, like, from a girl, like? Curves for sure. Curves. And then in terms of personality, I like. I like someone who's freakier for sure. Yeah? Yeah, there's really nothing I won't or haven't done. Yeah. If David knows me, David, what would you say? On a scale of one to 10, one being wholesome, 10 being freaky. Uh, I'd say probably 10. Oh my God, do you, like, would you let me suck your toes? Like, I would, I'll let you I'm do just it right now. <laughs> how are you? Good, good, how are you? Cool. Good, I like your style. Thank you, I dressed myself. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. I think that that's uh, pretty impressive. 
How would you fix my outfit if you could? I would definitely change out the socks, roll down the pants a little bit, maybe change out the shoes, change out the sweater, um, scrub up the hair a little bit more. What's left? Just take it all off. I mean, maybe it's better off that way. I would you start with this and then. Yeah. I feel like Janet wants to take my shoes off really bad so she can fix that. I want to see your toes, yeah. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. You make me nervous. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. So what do you want to ask me? What do you want to ask me? Will you be my boyfriend? Already? Yeah. <laughs> I do feel like it would be disrespectful to all the other women who... Oh, okay. That's fine. ...who haven't, you know, they haven't made a decision. You guys have to decide. Oh, that's fine. I haven't made a decision between you and your dad either. I feel like we shouldn't have brought him in to the video. We should have left him out of it. I, um, I love a guy who's comfortable in his body and allows a woman to like let him explore it, you know? Mm -hmm. like. Yeah, I, I think for me, when it comes to physical intimacy, yeah, I love a total like um, confidence in yourself, you know? Or even if you're not confident in yourself, at least you're confident in your partner to take care of you yeah. and to guide you in a way, like if you guys were trying something new, I'm all about that. I think more people should really try everything because there's lots of things that I think sexually people just leave on the table. Right. And uh, they never try. And then they end up in a boring relationship because they never... Yeah. Always spice it up. Always spice it up. Hey, where'd you come from? <laughs> she was with your dad. She was with your... Just, uh, chatting a bit, you know. Dude, I don't know where the f*** <laughs> they went right now. But they came back at the same time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She'll take the dad, I'll take you. Oh. Yeah. These are good answers. Um, all right. Well, I'm abstinent, so I'm not having sex right now until I'm in a relationship. However, I do love having fun. Okay, yeah. so you're abstinent right now? Right now, yeah. How long has this been going on? Um, like eight months or so. Ooh, that's a good yeah. run. Have you ever been abstinent for eight months? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, right before I started having sex. I was absent for like 15, yeah, yeah. 15 16 15, years. 15 years, yeah. I went like a long round. Wow. And finally I was like, you know what? No need to be a hero. Let's, let's go ahead and break this. <laughs> Are you close to your parents? Yeah, very close. Is your mom single? <laughs> yeah. Do you want her number? I don't know. If you want to go with my dad, I feel like it's only fair. Yeah, it is. <laughs> no, I, I think I'll stay away. I don't know what the <laughs> is going on. <laughs> Everything is overwhelming on this side of the room No, because right the dad's already taken. Oh, so you're getting upset by this? <laughs> yes, I'm getting very upset. No, you can have him. No, I, I want to fight. <laughs> I, I don't think she's no. kidding, by the way. I think she'd be willing she's to throw down serious. right now. <laughs> what are you looking for, for in a woman? Uh, it, just someone who doesn't want to sleep with my dad. That's kind of the main one. Oh, sh Please have a seat. I will. When you went back over there, I looked back and you were gone, and so was my dad for a little bit. Where'd you guys go? Well, we went to the bar. <laughs> There's no bar in this studio right now, so where did you go? <laughs> Can we just agree that it's not gonna work between you and I at this point? I, I, I know it wouldn't, because you're a wholesome man. You deserve a wholesome woman, and that wholesome woman isn't me. Okay. But I would love to be your stepmom, so. Hello, step son. Hi, hi, stepmom. It's really nice to meet it's you. It's really nice. Yeah, to yeah, meet yeah. You. Thank you so much for everything. I mean, thank genuinely. you. So, do you want to? You just do you no, want to well, like self eliminate I'm so you can be with him? Christmas, but I'm gonna be there for Christmas. Do you want to self eliminate for... so that you can be with him? I would love to. Okay. X comes up on the screen is, right is, now. Is that okay? Is that okay? Yeah, 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 oh that's my fun. god, my stepson. I... Thank you guys. <laughs> Why did you bring your dad this early to this? This shoot? is a bad idea. <laughs> Right now, we're gonna give you guys five minutes to deliberate so you can argue for yourself or argue for someone else. So look, five minutes starts now. Okay, cool. So I really liked your vibe with him. Like you just like, I feel like there was like a supernatural connection between you guys. And it's like, not that there wasn't with like others, but I feel like yours was like right off the bat. He's like, yeah. oh my God, like I really like this. I your really style. like this, I really like this. Complimenting like, you right And away. like complimenting yeah. you. I also felt like he had a really good connection with Kat also. They had the banter going on. Yeah the eye contact, the sexual tension. Oh my God. So it's definitely, I feel like, between, between you, two. you two. Yeah. That's I a hard do. one. All right. Should I be besides? <laughs> I'm sorry if you should on this side. I think I should. I'm sorry. <laughs> I am a stepmom. You had some good dates. You had some interesting dates. Your dad had a date. <laughs> <laughs> After all that, 
We have chosen a winner for you. Hunter. Okay. The women have chosen. And the winner is... Lindsay! Yeah. Hey, look at us. Yeah. We did it. I know. You guys did good. Yeah, yeah. thank you guys so much. Yeah. You know, I can't trust myself to make my own decisions anymore when it comes to dating, apparently, yeah. so this feels right. I'm equally excited that my dad may have found love today. <laughs> I never thought I would find love. Yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching David's video. Again, like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. But we also just did a video, like we said earlier, with my dad as the person who, dad, stop it. Uh, as my dad who chooses my date. We're gonna see if his tastes uh, are any at all similar to mine. Uh, if he's not too busy for the rest of the night, that is. We'll see. Okay. Right. I feel like I'll be pretty busy next time. <laughs> oh, no, why? Oh, oh, maybe. Is it a maybe? Walking off into the sunset? Yeah.